Hey all, I just received my Butterfly IQ uh, the day before yesterday and decided to do a um, quick short review of it. And um, I'm give you a little heads up, it's very impressive and I'm enjoying the heck out of using it. So those of you that, that um, haven't heard about the Butterfly IQ, it's a a uh, handheld portable ultrasound with a single probe, and you can see the single probe here. And the single probe, instead of the old-fashioned crystals that all the other ultrasound uses, it uses um, microchips. And from the single probe, you can actually set it up to have three probes. So you just hit a button and boom, you change it to a curved linear from a phased array or to high-frequency linear. And it really, really works well. And having those three probes is just um, the best thing ever. And you can see it hooks into your iPhone or iPad um, via either Lightning Connector or USB-C, which I'll go over and talk about a little bit later. And just a quick overview. We talked a little bit about the three probes in one. It has all the, the various modes that my Terrason has, which I loved up until now. I mean, I still like it, obviously, but uh, M mode, B mode, color Doppler. You can do all the measurements with it. Um, I saw a little um, film they put out the other day that, where you can even do, it'll automatically figure uh, bladder volume for you. I mean, it's just amazing what this company's coming out with. Um, has a bunch of presets, 19 different presets, um, which we'll go over again later as well. I told you about the uh, two connectors, USB-C uh, or a lightning connector, depending on which um, iPad, iPhone you have. Unlimited storage, It, uh, besides being automatically stored on your device, iPad, iPhone, it's uh, uploaded to the cloud and kept on their servers, and you can access it. You can download it to your computer. You can send it off um, via email, via text, for sharing. It's all HIPAA compliant. It's r really amazing. And I talked a little bit um, about how it uses chips to the crystals, and that's what lets it use a single probe um, to get three probes. So with all the other ultrasounds, you have to buy the three probes. Um, we had to buy the uh, phased array for cardiac, had to buy the curved linear for uh, abdominal and deep uh, blocks and such, headed by the high frequency linear for central lines and peripheral nerve blocks and um, tissue abscesses, etc. And this lets you get all that with this one single probe just by selecting it via a software button. It's very, very slick the way they, the way they did this. And I already mentioned M mode, B mode, and color Doppler. And you can see here just a literally a simple swipe of the thumb and a tap, and you change it does all the various measurements for you, the calculations, uh, linear, it can do ellipse, uh, you can put labels on it, and um, I mentioned the bladder thing where it all automatically will figure bladder volume. And the presets, again, a simple swipe of the finger and a tap, and you can change the presets. It makes it very, very convenient. 19 of them, and you can adjust these presets. You don't have to take them. You can either adjust them for that patient or adjust them permanently and save them as your own preset. Abdomen, aorta, gallbladder, bladder, cardiac, fast. I mean, just all these different presets. And um, just they make it so easy to use. The software it truly is incredible. I thought the Terrason was uh, the easiest ultrasound I've used. I've used um, GE, Terrason, Sonosite, and now the Butterfly. And i got to tell you, I much prefer the Butterfly. And a little confusing. Some people get hung up on this. Um, they have two connections you can choose from. You can get the USB-C or you can get the Lightning Connector. The Lightning Connector are the older iPads, and you can see I have them listed here, as well as all the current iPhones. All These all use a Lightning Connector. USB-C, which is the one I got, fits the two new iPads, the iPad Pro 12.9 and the 11. And I'm assuming iPhone is going to come out with the USB-C because the iPad did. Again, it's assumption, but I'm fairly sure that'll happen sometime in the future. And once that happens, you'll be able to use a new iPhones with the USB-Cs. So that's why I bought the USB-C is to be future-proof. I think that it's obvious Apple's moving to the USB-C and away from the Lightning. So this will um, uh, make certain that you're not left behind and have to use the older generations, which is fine because it's, I mean, if that's all you use it for is ultrasound. Um, 
So think about which connector you want and uh, before you order and you'll be good to go. They did just came out, uh, come out with a um, uh, press release that said they support the new iPad mini now as well, um, which is pretty nice. And I've heard rumors that maybe the Android's going to be supported uh, now that they've come out with USB-C's, but that's just rumor, nothing official from them. I uh, talked a little bit, uh, storage is in the cloud. You can email these or text them, and it's HIPAA compliant. You can have the machine uh, just by hitting a button automatically remove all patient identification and um, send it for review or send it to your partner or whatever and makes it very, very convenient for sharing for educational purposes, especially. Tech support, um, I've already had to use them. When I first got it after waiting and knowing I was going to get it, and I'm all excited, and it finally comes in, and I plug it in, and it didn't work. Uh, my iPad didn't recognize the Pro, but I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. Um, I've waited this long, and now they send me a defective probe. So I called and immediately had callbacks uh, and responses to my emails. They were very helpful, very on the ball. It turned out it wasn't their Pro, but it was my iPad. I just needed to reboot it. I rebooted it, and boom, it worked perfectly. It's been working perfectly since. So I felt a little silly. I should have thought about of that myself. Uh, but the bottom line is the tech support was outstanding. Um, both on the phone, they I called me the next day just to make sure everything was working all right, and I can't say enough uh, nice things about them. On um, their website, they have a huge number of educational um, films on the various things you can use the ultrasound for, everything from uh, fast exams to abdomen to peripheral nerve blocks, you name it. Uh, Mike Stone, who um, I love his podcast, is one of the presenters, and um, he has been, he's an ER physician that has been a huge proponent of um, ultrasound and peripheral nerve blocks in the ER, and um, puts out some excellent videos, and he's one of the presenters here, which I enjoyed. So here's the eye, or I'm sorry, here's the butterfly probe uh, on its charging cradle. You can see the cradle down here. And um, I used it yesterday for at least three hours straight and uh, never uh, drained the battery. Although they say two hours of continuous use, but mine was definitely three hours plus, and I had no battery issues at all. So here's my setup. I use the butterfly with the iPad Pro 11 inch, and I have a, a keyboard. It's the uh, Logitech uh, Slim something or other, but I really like it. It has a little magnetic um, strip here at the bottom that you just set your um, keyboard on, and it is sits like this. makes it perfect for, for doing ultrasounds. And if you want, you can just lay it down flat where the screen sits on top of the keyboard, and then you can draw on the screen or do whatever. I find that really nice, especially if you're annotating ultrasounds um, that you're going to share, whatever. And on to the software. Um, this is, in my opinion, one of the just the most excellent parts of this. It is so easy to use, yet so powerful. Um, it's just amazing. It, it, you can, with one hand while you're using the probe, slide with one finger, one thumb, slide and change your contrast. You can change the depth. And it, they just make it so extremely easy. Uh, it really elevates the machine um, and increases the capabilities. And a few scans I did. This one is a um, infraclavicular block, although I didn't block, I just did the and I tend to go more lateral, as you can see. You can see pec major, pec minor, and you can see the um, cords around the um, axillary artery here. And the view is excellent. And I'm this is my first time using it, so I didn't really play with many of the settings and so forth. Um, this just slapping it on and going and picking. This was um, the, ner the preset nerve setting. And here is the lung. And you can see, I believe if I'm right, I had this on the fast uh, setting. They have a lung setting that I tried um, today that uh, actually gave you a much better picture. 
but with a fast setting even it's still easy to see the sliding pleura, rib shadows, etc. You can see the pleura up here, that's a rib shadow right there, rib shadow over here, see the twinkling going back and forth. The lung setting gave you a much better view of it, but um, still this is fine to rule, you can see here, very easy to rule out a pneumothorax. And here is a um, um, pelvis, uh, uterus. We can thank my wife for this. She was a good sport and let me scan her. You can see the bladder here. This is uterus. This is cervix. This is vagina here. And this is with the fast setting as well. I tried this on the abdominal setting and it cleared up um, better as well but not bad for first time. And this would be, you would need a special probe on a regular ultrasound. You'd have to have a curvy linear probe for this. A uh, phased array works, but just not as well. And um, then you'd have the high frequency for the lung and blah, blah, blah. And this is a single probe and you just hit a button and, and go. And it, it's just awesome. And here is a um, IVC. Let me get the movie going. There we go. And you can see during inspiration it collapses somewhat and then fills back up. And uh, during this, I don't believe I have it on here. I'll wait to the end and see. But I had my wife raise her legs up and amazing how dilated the IVC gets with that. I'm sure that we all use it for fluid stat. Oh, here we go. Yep, that's with her legs raised. Look at the size of, the, of that IVC. And then she put her legs down here in a second and down it goes. And then with inspiration it gets even smaller. But this is with the um, abdominal setting. And again, it's just literally a flick of the finger or thumb, and you can change the settings on these. It's just outstanding. And here is right upper quadrant uh, liver. This is the is Morrison's pouch, kidney liver interface. And I'll get a little better view. The kidney's coming into focus here. There we go. There's a kidney there. And she was kind of in a not the best position for this, but we may do. But in any case, um, obviously it's a, a negative fast for her. And here is a heart, looks like. So I did the, this is personal long axis view, and I did this in both the fast preset as well as a cardiac preset. And you can see this is a cardiac preset here. You can see the um, icon on the right-hand side of the screen that tells you it's a cardiology preset. But you can see it. I mean, here is aortic valve, aortic outflow tract, mitral valve, um, left atrium, left ventricle, right ventricle up here. And um, it's really not bad at all. I could have used a little bit deeper to get the full heart in um, the picture. But again, I'm, I was just playing around somewhat here. And this one is, um, looks like a sub xiphoid view. This is liver. And you can see the whole heart here. And you can see left ventricle, um, right ventricle, left atrium, uh, right atrium. You can see the tricuspid valve, mitral valve. And this could probably be a bit of just a touch deeper setting as well. But uh, all in all, I'm pretty happy. The cardiac view was probably the the view that was the least, my least favorite. I would like it to be a little bit clearer, and hopefully software updates in the future will take care of that. And here is a pang block. Um, for those of you who haven't heard of a pang block, I used to do a lot of fascia iliaca blocks, both in the ER and surgery, for hip dislocations, hip fractures, etc. that worked really well, especially the old folks in the ER. They don't have to have any more narcotics. They're pain-free for hours and hours and hours. Well, the ping has um, come out and it's kind of supplanting the uh, fascia iliaca block. Uh, it works much more reliably for pain. And you can see um, here the um, uh, anterior superior iliac spine as well as the anterior inferior iliac spine. And the femoral artery over here and where you inject the local underneath the um, ligament. But um, I have two views. This one was with the abdominal view. And you can see it's 
pretty picture. Place your needle down here and inject the local, and your patient, depending on what you use, will be pain-free for up to 18 to 24 hours. I mean, it's really, really a nice thing for the patients. And here's a popliteal block, again, without the actual block, but just the anatomy. And you can see the um, nerves coming together, the uh, common fibular and um, tibial nerves. That's where I would do my block, and then I'm just moving it um, more distally, and you can see them separating again. But you can see the picture. The picture is beautiful. I mean, if you can't hit that block, uh, something's wrong with you. And again, in the OR, obviously, you use this a lot. But in the ER as well, ankle fractures, especially um, foot fractures, uh, etc. It just It's a, a great thing to do for your patients. So that concludes the um, this episode of the Butterfly IQ. Uh, the price is incredible. It's 1900 bucks, which for an ultrasound is kind of unheard of. The Terrason I paid um, 25k when I bought one a couple years ago. The hospital just bought one here a year or so ago, and I think it was closer to 30k. Um, so the price is way different. There's a couple other handhelds out on the market, the Lumify and uh, one other I forget, but they don't seem to be able to match what the butterfly is doing either on price or capabilities. So it's definitely worth a look, um, especially if you're in a little rural ER and um, they don't have a decent ultrasound for to use. I would definitely look into getting this one. Get your name on the list because it takes a while to get one. And that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions or comments, uh, feel free to holler at me and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. Thanks.